Today I'm looking at a Dell Inspiron 1300 laptop computer uh, that I found at my local uh, recycle shed. Actually, I took a trip there to uh, bring some old electronics that I didn't want anymore. And uh, when I got there, I found this in there, and uh, it looked good, so uh, I ended up taking it home. I don't usually make a habit of bringing things home from the recycle shed, but this actually looked too good to, to leave behind, so I, uh, I decided to bring it home. Well, the laptop didn't come with a power supply. That, of course, would have been too convenient. So I looked around in, uh, in the house, and I found this uh, small power pack that's used with a netbook. It had the right connector on it and the right voltage, but uh, it's a little down on the power. This is only a 30-watt uh, power supply, and I think this laptop really requires a 60-watt power supply. Um, but it does seem to at least provide enough power to run the laptop for a little while. Uh, it gets a little bit flaky because I think the, the battery in the laptop is somewhat marginal, so it's not really um, you know, providing all that much power itself. But if, uh, if I leave it plugged in for a little while here like this, um, the battery will take enough charge to kind of um, supplement the power supply, and the computer will stay up and running for a little while. Um, I probably will at some point uh, try and find uh, the correct power supply for the laptop, but for right now, for testing purposes, this is good enough. So I'm going to power it up and uh, watch it boot. Okay, you can see here that the machine has booted up into the Windows XP login screen. And I'll try and zoom in a little bit here just to get a little bit better shot of the screen. But you can see that there are uh, some available login options. And of course I've already uh, been into this computer and tried to log into it. But each one of these logins has a password associated with it. And I've tried a few attempts to try and crack the passwords based on the hints. Um, but I haven't been able to uh, crack those. I have been able to get into the guest account, so I've verified that the computer, um, that I can get into the computer and that it functions, the operating system functions uh, normally and all that. So um, it seems like a good computer, but I'm curious to, uh, to see what else is in here um, in terms of uh, what some of the other users might have had available to them for... Um, programs that the guest login doesn't have or maybe some documents and things like that. Now, I'm not really interested in snooping into the previous owner's life or getting their bank accounts or any of that sort of thing. I'm not really interested in that at all. So at any rate, what I plan to do here now is uh, boot into safe mode and uh, remove the passwords from those other accounts just so that I can get in and, and see what's going on. So the way to get into safe mode is to simply uh, restart the computer. You can see, like I'm doing here, normally through Windows XP. But once the restart command is initiated, I'll press and hold F8. I don't need to hold it while the computer is powering down. Uh, but once it starts booting back up, you want to have your finger on the F8 key. Okay, so once it gets to this point, it's asking uh, for a bunch of different boot options. And uh, the one, of course, that I want is plain old safe mode right there at the top. So I've scrolled up with the arrow keys, and I've selected that. And now, of course, if there were multiple operating systems on here, you'd be able to choose between those. But it's only got the one operating system. So I'll select that and uh, let it boot into safe mode. Okay, you can see here as it's going through the boot mode, or in the boot uh, sequence, it's got safe mode listed in the corners there, so you know what the computer is doing. And now here at the login screen, you can see the screen resolution is different. Um, but And I also have um, the administrator login that I didn't have as an option before. 
So this is the one that I'm going to choose. And luckily there was no password on the administrator account. Otherwise we might not have been able to do this. Uh, but anyway, now <coughs> Windows warns me that it's in safe mode, which I'm fully aware of. So I'm going to let that go ahead and uh, kind of finish its kind of boot and start up. And then once the start menu is available, I'm going to click that and open up control panel. And now that control panel is started up, I'm going to choose user accounts. And now you can see that I've got uh, the four accounts to choose from, administrator, dad, mom, and Maddie. And uh, I can do various task with, tasks with those once I click on each one. So I'm going to start with the dad account. And you can see the options here. I can change its name, change the password, remove the password, change the picture, change the account type, or delete the account altogether. Well, I think in this case, I'm just going to choose remove the password. And it's Windows is just validating that I want to do that. And I do. <clears throat> now you can see it's back to this page. And uh, the remove password option is gone. So I could still try and do one of these other things if I wanted to, but I don't and now I will just remove the password from the other accounts. Okay, so that should take care of it. Now, I should just be able to restart the computer normally and I should be able to now log in as one of those other accounts. Okay, and now that the computer is back at the login screen, I'm just going to choose the data account since it's the first one. Okay, so it looks like I'm in. You can see the, uh, the typical Windows background here and all that sort of thing. Hopefully this video was helpful, or at least entertaining. Uh, feel free to leave comments or subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And as always, thank you for watching.